What's good? This uh Just Divine back with um another quick tutorial. Um I, 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 it's been a minute since my last video. Um I know everyone is probably having this same problem. If you're running Logic Pro X, you're going to run across not being able to integrate your previous 32-bit plugins into a 64-bit operating uh system um you know it's all kinds of alternative softwares that's out there that allow you to uh like meta meta plug in and uh j press and, and all of that stuff requires routing and opening separate programs in order to run but finally i found something that you wouldn't even be able to tell that it was a 32-bit plugin that requires no routing and I'm just gonna give you an example for instance um this right here has to be like the best reverb and this is a 32-bit plugin um let me let me bring up something real quick just to show you that um I'm, in, I'm indeed running who has Nexus 2 who has uh purity i know this is a favorite this is what everybody wants everybody wants to run silence 32 bit unless they come out with a native one you will keep waiting they said they were supposed to bring this out in the january in the end of uh december in 2013 then they said first quarter here it is february and still nothing so like I'm gonna load this superstar O oh, uh preset sound bank. Play a couple of <laughs> Proof that this is actually working. I'm not trying to demo any sounds or nothing, but just proof that you can run your 32 bit plugins. This was one of my favorites. Um, sound toys. I don't know why, but all of them didn't show up. Um, perhaps I'm going to just try to run it again. And finally, the name of the software that is used is 32 Lives. I'll put, a, I'll put it in the, um, in, a, in, in the description. I mean, and, and installing it was very simple. You just simply run the same way you would check for your, your new plugins. You, you, you open up the DMG, you install it, and that's as simple as that. This has got to be like the best thing since Logic Pro X came out. This is kind of what it looks like when you, um, when you open it up. So if you look at, if you look at the versions of the, of, uh, of the VSTs that I have if you just just look at the versions and I mean the proof is in the pudding um, anything that says resurrected is uh, a plugin that is now 64 bit when it was 32 bit so what you would pretty much do you just will go to or you Command A, select all, and then just hit resurrect. And whatever, per, whatever, whatever plugins that you have in in your uh, in your folder, it'll it'll find them and, and bring them right up. So um, while I got you guys here, I just kind of wanted to preview uh, a track um, that I that I that I just produced. Um, let me know what you uh, think about it, and um, support thirty two lives. I think it's like a hundred dollars for like the uh
that's it. That's all you're going to get. I can't give you the whole beat. Um, anybody interested in purchasing any tracks, you know, feel free to contact me. Serious inquiries only. Um, any uh, new viewers, please like, subscribe. And um, maybe later on in the future, I'll come back with some uh, some tutorials on, you know, my favorite my favorite uh, VSTs and, you know, sound banks and so forth and so on. And, uh, to, you know, tutorials on how to do filters and a lot of stuff that a lot of stuff that people do with uh, FL Studio. And, you know, you may not know how to do it on Logic 9 or Logic Pro X. You know, I've, I've searched and, and, and went deep and figured out how to do these things. So now I can have that same that same sound, um, you know, uh, you know, even when it comes down to like doing the hats that Cardiac does, you know, who knows what may come out of it. So um, please like, subscribe, and hope you enjoy it.